Hey, what's up guys? This is BMB again and a new tutorial. Actually, this is the first tutorial that I make about ESP8266 dev boards. So we will see a short introduction about ESP. Then we will discover the board, a kind of unboxing product that I've got from an online store market. And the last section will be about programming and test of this board using Arduino environment. So let's get started. Introducing the ESP8266 as mentioned on Wikipedia, so ESP8266 is a low-cost Wi-Fi chip with a full TCP IP stack and MCU. Talking about an MCU inside this board, that means we can upload a program in this MCU to control its GPIO ports. This board was first produced by Shanghai-based Chinese manufacturer Espressive Systems. But the first appearance of this ship was in August 2014 with the ESP01 module, made by a third-party manufacturer, AI Thinker. This small module allows microcontrollers to connect to a Wi-Fi network and make a simple TCP IP connections using haze style commands. Actually, we will not get in these details now, but sure, I will explain it in the comment tutorials. So it is amazing having all these options in one dev board, however at that time there was almost no English language documentation on the ship and the commands it accept. But the very low price and the fact that there were very few external components on the module which suggested that it could eventually be very expensive in volume attracted many hackers to explore the module, ship and the software on it as well as to translate the Chinese documentation in order to bring to you this super cheap dev board. Okay, so that was some info about the ESP, so let's try to get one from GearBest online store. By the way, all the related links are provided in the description of this video. And as you can see here, it's so easy and cheap to buy this board for almost 5 bucks only. Also, it's available in this website with a variety of manufacturers, so I will choose the Node MCU from here. After finishing the payment, you need just to wait for 3 days only to get your ESP ready for action. So I recommend for you GearBest if you want to have a secured and efficient online store market. Now let's see what we've received from GearBest, the ESP itself. It's small in size, almost similar to an Arduino Nano, so you can easily place it into your projects. The board comes with the ESP module on the top and its GPIO in both sides. So about the pinout, as you see, it's similar to an Arduino or any other development board. We have the digital IO pins, the PWM outputs, the serial communication ports, but there is a lack of analog converters because we have only one analog input. For sure, there is an onboard reset button and a flash button. Also, you can test your board using its onboard LED connected to digital pin zero. And the board has a USB connector, so you can plug it directly to your computer in order to program it. For sure we are talking about a USB connection, so USB driver is needed here. And if we look to the back side of the Node MCU, it tells you which driver you need. So just go to siliconlabs.com and download the appropriate driver. Extract the file and install it. So 
So if we connect the board, now we can find the port in which the board was linked. Moving now to test the board by blinking that LED and in order to do this, we will use the Arduino ID and it will be a simple Arduino API programming like digital read and digital write etc. But before start programming, we need to configure our Arduino ID in order to compile the code depending on the board that we are using. And this is the only way to add the ESP board to your compiler. And to configure it, you just need to click on file and under preferences exactly in additional boards manager URLs, you need to write this URL displayed on your screen now. Or you can find this link in the description of this video, so just copy and paste it. After updating the URL, we should rerun the IDE. And now if we get back to select the board, we can find the ESP boards added. Now let's upload this basic blink sketch. And as you can see, the LED start blinking, which is a good sign. I prepared this simple code to turn on and off the LED through serial monitor commands. So when I write on, the LED should light on. And when I write off, for sure, it should turn off. And here we are, the LED follows the instructions from the serial monitor. So that's it guys for this video, it was a basic tutorial and in the next one, I will show you how to make your first TCP IP connection to a network. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BNB from Megadas. See you next time.